Yep. And we're recording. I called it! I called it! <laughs> no, you didn't. I did! I fucking did! Uh, what's up? This is Will Willis. I'm on Arizari. This is our reaction to last night's uh, crazy upset. People call it upset. I predicted this thing. I've been saying it all day yesterday. Will Willis, tell these people <laughs> I predicted this. I knew this shit was going to happen. And uh, I have proof. I have proof. See, let me tell you the real story. So, we were making you know, a little friendly bet on a certain website that we're not going to name. I'll name it DraftKings! DraftKings.com! <laughs> I picked it! I picked Holly! So we have a certain amount of money to spend, you know, on each fighter. And it came down to our last $8,000. And pretty much all we could pick was Holly home or nothing. So yeah, I guess Juan called it. I No, no, I did, I budgeted, I, I wanted to pick Holly because I, I remember me going over this uh, lineup with you and I kept saying, dude, I really want to pick Holly. I really want to pick Holly. And you were like, no, you're just going to throw your money away. You're just going to throw your money away. Did you not say that? Well, I mean, 24 hours is a long time ago. I don't remember exactly what I said, <laughs> but, you know. Anyway, what do you think of the fight? Uh, the fight was awesome. Um, Holly stuck to her game plan, and Ronda did not. That fight needed to go to the ground in order for Ronda to win, and she didn't do it. Instead, she chased her around the ring, didn't cut her off, and was throwing wildly. The crazy part that I saw is that I could not believe... I, I guess I... I this is like kind of what I thought was going to happen if Holly was going to be so dominant, but she picked Ronda apart. Like, picked her apart. That she did. That like, she did. like, Ronda looked so dominant in her other fights where her striking, but this one was just completely lopsided. So, like, it was just insane to watch that. That whole first round was Holly. That whole right. first round was Holly. It wasn't like Holly freaking, like, uh, just squeaked by and won the round. She dominated the whole round, dude. As crazy as it sounds, it looks like Ronda Rousey showed Holly Holm zero respect when it came to her boxing and she paid the price for it. Yeah. And what about her corner, man? What, when they said, oh, you're doing a good job? <laughs> yeah. Yo, what, the corner man, the corner man told Ronda nothing. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> like, it, it was almost like he was in shock and wasn't expected, wasn't expecting uh, to uh, give her instruction to improve on to the second round. Because he told her nothing, nothing to improve on <laughs> to make that fight better. He's like, shit, we gotta say something. <laughs> yeah. He was like, you're doing a great job. You're doing a great <laughs> job. Uh, try not to lose this one. <laughs> no instruction whatsoever. However, on uh, Holly's side, um, what was that? What's the coach's name? Uh, Winkle John. Not Winkle Vaughn. No, 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 not Winkle Vaughn or John. Winkle Vaughn, yeah. Um, the other one. Uh, Jackson. Greg Jackson. Greg Jackson. Greg Jackson was uh, telling Holly, it's like, oh, you're doing a great job. Uh, Rhonda's going to come out here. She's going to be more desperate and stuff like that. Yeah. Like, she, like he was like, yo, mind-fucking <laughs> the whole thing. And was like telling Holly exactly what's going to happen in that second round. And, and, and he was exactly right. Ronda came out, she was more desperate, tried to fucking, like, uh, swing crazy on Holly, and Holly fucking... Wait, I just thought about this. So, Ronda Rousey, she trains somewhere. Mm -hmm. Her new boyfriend, Travis Brown, isn't he at Greg Jackson? No, he left. Uh, he did leave, I'm pretty, okay. I'm pretty damn sure he left. But you are right, he was, um... Uh, he was, uh, training there. No, because remember, uh, if you remember, Olaski fought... Travis Brown, and they're from the same camp. Right. Travis Brown's the one that left. Okay. I'm pretty sure of that. See, I was trying to put together a conspiracy theory and that just got shut down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty damn sure, I'm pretty damn sure that Travis Brown isn't there anymore and stuff, so. Uh, so yeah, that, that fight was crazy. Um, do you think it'll be a rematch? Um, no, not right away. Number one, Misha Tate, if she doesn't retire, because she's been talking about retiring Well, she, I think I think they're just gonna give her the, now they have to make the fight. Right. You know I mean they have to make Misha Tate Holly home now for the title. Here's instead. something interesting. First of all, I think that's a bad matchup for both sides. So that could be anybody's fight. You know. Really? I, I think it is a bad matchup for both sides. But more importantly, the moneymaker fight, there's no reason now for Ronda Rousey to stay at 135. At least to at least bump up to 145 and get that super fight and get that paycheck and see who is better between Rousey and Yeah, you are right. But I really think, I don't think UFC would do it. I think UFC still wants to protect Ronda Rousey. And if anything, they're going to like build up this 
um, underdog, you know, comeback story for Ronda Rousey and Joe Hurd climb back up to the title and shit. He can only you protect I mean? the fighter for so long. Just, you know, ask Tito Ortiz and Chuck Liddell. <laughs> <laughs> he was, they, how long did, how many years did they allow Tito to be protected from Chuck Liddell? And we saw how that went. So, yeah, well, I well, I'm big. not saying Rousey's, you know, a Tito Ortiz and is going to start losing fights. I'm just saying, you got to put her in there with. Do you think the they best. give her an uh, when whenever Ronda Rousey does come back to MMA? Do you think she gives uh, she gets like an automatic rematch at the title? Depends on who's champ. Okay, all right. So say Holly Holm beats Misha Tate, Ronda's ready to come back. Does she get a title shot? Uh, yes. Although I probably wouldn't agree with that because she needs a year. The the way she was outclassed. In the boxing, she, she got a year tore up. to learn how to slip, you know, cut angles, and to stop chasing. But Ronda Rousey, right but Ronda Rousey beat people up with the standing before. She didn't beat up any boxers. No. She didn't beat up any boxers with that caliber. I mean, yeah, I guess not. Beth Cohera is not a boxer. She's a brawler. And got She's a brawler. Out. Yeah, I guess that's a better way to put it. She's a brawler. Yeah. Um, who else did she fight that had you know decent stand up? I um, see. Like I'm really kind of pissed. Because I was a big fan of Kat Zangano, and I really thought Kat Zangano didn't like wildly go after Ronda Rousey in that fight. I felt like she could have put up a you know a better fight than she did. She was too emotional. She was way too emotional, and she threw herself and she just threw away all that work to get a title shot. Yeah. Away in 14 seconds. Like I really, I felt like if she like slowed it down and let it become a fight, she could have really you know put in. I actually would like to see Halim versus Kat Zangano. Speaking of Kat Zingano, um, you know, you can call me, email me, <laughs> Facebook me, something. And if you don't like black guys, you can call me. <laughs> well, it's just, why are you always have to that part out there? Damn. I'm just saying. <laughs> Captain Seablocker over here. Well, that's it, guys. I'm Juan Rosario. This is Will Willis. Will this Willis. Is, this is our reaction video to the uh, greatest upset in MMA history. Do you think it's better than, wait, last thing. Bigger upset than Matt Serra over uh, GSP? Uh, it's got to be up there. What were the odds on that? It was about the same. I think it was like 1250 to one, right? It was, it was something crazy. It was something crazy. I would put, I would say yes. I, wow. You know what? A couple, well, it's hard. I don't know. Matt Serra, the only reason why he got that shot was because they had that comeback series on uh, yeah. the Ultimate Fighter. Yep, yep, yep. So with that being said, then no, I think that one was a bigger upset, and this is number I two. was a big Matt Serra fan, but I purposely didn't watch the fight. I went to the club that night instead of ordering the fight, because I thought it was so definite that GSP was going to win. I was like, there's no point in watching this. Right. So then I was actually in the bathroom of the club, and my cousin went, Matt Serra won! I was like, what?! <laughs> it was ridiculous. <laughs> It definitely ranks up there. I'd say one or two. You know, depending on who you ask, it's going to be number one or number two. Yeah. Crazy so. shit. So, yeah, guys. That was our reaction video. So, if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button down below. Uh, share this video with your friends. And subscribe or to our else. channel. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't so, if you haven't done so already. But, yeah. I'm Warner Zary. This is Will Willis. And we'll see you next time. Peace and, out. Oh, last thing. Uh, let me know what you guys think about the fight. In the comment section below, uh, let me know your thoughts. And, yeah, that's about it. So, we'll see you next time. Peace. Peace. Later. Oh, and I called it! I called it! I called it! <laughs>